Behind me here is the largest boat at the Boat Life Live show. This is the Fairline Targa 50. Now this started life as the Targa 48 and has recently been upgraded to 50 status. And you can see that one of the things that brings is this rather stylish new black colored hard top. But it also helps show off all the glass in the side of this. So look how much glass there is all the way along here. You can see these huge hull windows here, but that's all in one strip of glass. But you can see they are actually in separate cabins with opening portholes in the side. It's rather stylish stainless steel plate with a Targa logo emblazoned on it. And you can see this strip of glass runs all the way up to the bow. Now this boat is powered by Volvo Penta IPS drives. The standard engine package is the IPS 600s, which are 435 horsepower, but they call them 600 because those efficient pod drives are said to be the equivalent of 600 horsepower on shafts. So moving around the front, you can see a stainless steel plate protecting the anchor. It's got one of those lovely ultra anchors, stainless steel ultra anchors. And down the side again, exactly the same on this side. And you can see here that Targa logo is actually backlit. So you get this rather classy effect in amongst the stainless steel of that backlit Targa logo. And again, big hull windows, which lead into the mid cabin, the owner's cabin there. Now let's jump aboard and see if we can take a little bit of a look. So this particular boat Starting price X taxes is around about £713,000 with these engines. In this spec, with a few extras on it and VAT thrown in, it's just over a million pounds. So let's go and have a look downstairs on this Fairline Targa 50 GT. So you can move down into the saloon area. We've got a nice sitting area here. You can see that's on a high-low table, so that can drop down and be made into an occasional berth. We've got two big storage areas under here. There's always any spare space is used to good effect. So there's good storage under the floor here. There's the galley over on the port side and lots of nice detailing here. Again, look at this lovely gloss walnut finish. And look, even here, there's an extra little drawer under there with all your knives and forks beautifully fitted in there. All these nice latch positive latches so none of that is going to open underway over above again lots more storage you've got all your plates in there very nicely done marble effect countertop two ring induction hob you used to be able to get gas on the 48 now that's all electric got a microwave oven and then here we've got full height fridge freezer you've got the freezer section up top Fridge below, again, really secure latches, but all with this lovely gloss walnut finish. And then this is a rather nice touch. Check that out, look at that for storage. So all that racking means you just fit so much more in than if it was just an ordinary cupboard. And of course, because it pulls out, it's a lot easier to get to. So let's take a look the stern first. This is the master cabin, hang on, just, oh, while we're there, just thought I'd show you even that there's a tiny little storage area in there but move down into the owner's cabin and here you can see got full beam really nice big bed a few different ceiling heights going on here because you are now moving down under the cockpit so it's always been a little bit of a criticism of the original GT48 and now this 50, you haven't quite got full standing headroom. There is standing headroom here, absolutely. And then you drop down here. So there's plenty of standing headroom in front or at the foot of the bed, but you do need to duck down a little bit to get under it. But it's a fairly small price to pay. It means that the whole boat isn't quite so tall as it might otherwise have to be. And they've also set the engines a little bit further forward on jack shafts to keep the balance absolutely right. So they, they make a point of the fact that they don't sort of compromise everything to create the maximum possible vol volume. They're more about getting a boat that looks right, works well, runs nicely. So when you do move under this little lip here, there's a nice sofa here on the starboard side. Oh, it says don't sit, but I'm going to, I'm going to be naughty. 
but you can see there's plenty of sitting headroom here and actually it's a really nice little spot to hang out there's just nice and relaxing you've got these windows on either side and there's plenty of headroom to at least sit down bed itself nice square shape lots of wide foot space around it got controls for the stereo next to your bed it's lovely gloss finish again and very smart bedside table lamps that look like they're freestanding but of course they are secured so they're not going to fall over really smart stitched diamond sort of quilted bed head little inset lighting all around it and over on the port side this complete sideboard which is all storage so lots and lots of drawers again with this very nice stitched leather panels nice soft touch good different mix of textures and finishes and then of course the bathroom ensuite for the owner's cabin got the shower tucked in here slight drop floor but it means you have got headroom in the shower no problem at all and then the toilet is on the other side concealed under a lift up marble effect lid so that's on a special hinge that all locks so it will hold it up there and of course the sink and more storage and of course the blue roll holder keeps it nice and tucked away and out of sight all very smart and the storage up above here lifts up very nice and neat so and behind the door here there is also another full height hanging locker so lots and lots of storage everything you need and a mirror on the back of the door and then move through and we'll see as we come out there we've got another guest cabin the vip cabin up in the bow which on this one has got the scissor action berths we call them because they can split aside so you can have two separate berths or they slide together like that just like a pair of scissors and then you've got a nice double bed there so really good versatile arrangement so whether you've got a couple staying on board or two kids they can set it up exactly how they want and of course with them pushed to the side you have that much more floor space in between the beds and there's even a little storage compartment in there tuck your phone in there or your book or whatever it may be very smart blinds all the way around lots of lighting so even with artificial lighting it feels really nice and bright down here but you have got a hatch overhead you've got these side windows tiny little you can just see there's an opening section there so you can get a bit of fresh air in and then the bathroom is shared so it doubles it is en suite to this cabin but it also doubles as a day head so you've got an, another door leading back out into the saloon space so there is the walk-in shower you can see there's a latch on that nice size shower and just like in the owner's cabin the loo itself is hidden under a lifting marble effect lid keeps it all a bit more discreet so that is the lower deck now let's go back up here we are at the stern of the Targa 50 GT50 and you can see there is a large hydraulic bathing platform here that lowers down launches the tender keeps it nice and easy to recover too and of course you can lower it in and use it yourself as a, as a bathing platform down into the sea you can lower it down so you can step straight in you've got two separate cleats here you've got one in the corner and then you've got an extra pop-up cleat there to help you tie things down and make sure you can get your springs on the boat particularly if you're moored stern two in the mediterranean there's a lovely carbon fiber flagpole off the back here and then the boarding gate itself you can see nicely molded out both sides and held on a quite a powerful gas strut there so it locks in position open or closed as you want it really nice big cockpit area here you can see you've got a big c shape of seating table here now this is on detachable legs so you can take that table out and tuck it away under here you can see even under these seats there's masses of storage so you can see there's a big storage locker there that whole table will fit in there if you just want to keep it nice and open 
and there is also access under here you see that swings open so you've got a fire extinguisher there but there's also more storage under the seat they're really good at making sure that there's no wasted space on the boat like the, on a boat like this and there's one more even bigger surprise under here which if i can open it up and see that whole stern transom bench lifts up and there's a really big storage area in there you've got so you can see five fenders all tucked away in there all your cushions will sit down there if you want it there's a boat hook and there's a draining locker here so you can put wet ropes or anything like that and they can sit there and drain away and make sure they don't make a mess of your lovely teak so drop that down again now look at this for a nice little detail again another little locker there you can tuck your ropes into so if you don't want to keep them to hand they're right there there's one of those on each deck and under here yet more storage space so like i said everywhere you look there's somewhere to tuck things away there's a little wet bar in the corner here you see lift that up that's where the grill is there's a small sink and then behind there there's a bin and yet more storage now you see we'll just sneak very carefully along here this is this black hardtop i was talking about but you can see there are rails here so you've got the grips on both sides as you move forward be a little bit careful here but there we are up on the foredeck you can see there's a really nice sunbathing area there big pads just walk across they've removed one at the moment but you can see that they get two big sun pads there and there's that hatch down into the forward cabin and some cup holders plus of course the anchor locker you can see that lovely shiny ultra anchor and that pops up again on a gas strut and there's a the chain locker you can see you've got a lovely stainless steel chain there and the anchor windlass itself so nice and accessible controls for the electric windlass there and again you can see the fair lead and cleats there and that view back through that large opening hard top so let's just make our way back again along these side decks see the rather nice little blue led lighting along there lights up the side decks and again two separate mid cleats so you've got one here and one here they really don't skimp on the details so the nice thing about these gt boats is that you can have them nice and open like it is here with the doors pushed over to port or you can close them up and have a really nice cozy enclosed saloon so you can see that door slides across there's th th two different sliding sections close it all up and then you're completely nice and cozy in here so large seating area over here to port with an adjustable height table uh, it's this lovely high gloss walnut finish that they do at Fairline it's become a bit of a signature for them high low tv over here that drops down into the cabinet lots of storage here we've got a small fridge there so you can keep your drinks cool works equally well for indoors or the cockpit outside lovely kind of display area for all the glass that they just pop open and more storage under there now quite a big lip there you can see there's a step up to the helm area again more storage in here but really nice helm area you've got this sociable arrangement with a little l-shaped sofa over here on the port side opening window and this huge opening sunroof here now unlike some this is a solid hard top so you've got glass sections in here and grp and the whole thing slides back and opens up and then the helm itself two nice seats with this little extendable bolster here make it a bit more comfortable and they do slide backwards and forwards and then the helm area itself again opening window really classy setup you've got your garmin plotter here throttles because you've got ips drives you've got the full joystick control so you can swivel it move it forwards backwards and then lovely feeling little small diameter really sporty leather steering wheel and there's even a little place there for bits and pieces and including what have we got here 
can't see what that is. Ah, okay, that's the Lumar control for either the bow thrust or possibly the anchor by the looks of things. So there we have it, and that leads down into the galley. You can see steps down this kind of glass screen there, keeps it nice and safe. And this rather smart little unit here that really just provides headroom down below, but you can see it doubles as a rather handy little drinks table. So there we go. That is the Fairline Targa 50 GT. There's just one more thing to show you. I'm not sure if we can get in here, but there is the engine room down here, which if we open that up, now you're gonna to have to remove the table to get there. So I'm just gonna do it from up here, but you can see that here are the IPS 650s. And you can see what I mean by them not being tucked all the way back. There's little jack shafts running to the IPS drives themselves that you can see there, the steerable pods. And that's to keep the weight a bit further forward and create a really nice balanced boat that runs nice and flat rather than being too stern heavy and a bit bow up. So there you go, you can see the engine room, two big D6s. These are 435 horsepower each. And there is the generator over on the port side. Very nice setup. And obviously, once the table's removed, it's an awful lot easier to get down there. But I just haven't got time to do that right at the moment. But you can see those legs just pop out. That all stows away behind there. And then you've got a full opening hatch that gives access to all. So there you go. That is the Fairline Targa 50 GT, the largest boat at Boat Life today. And what a very fine looking thing she is. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick tour. Do please clock in again. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and click the notifications button so that you'll know whenever we post a new video. Thank you very much for watching.